Okay, now moving on. Um, let's compute. Now, if you compute this, if you substitute the value of t sub 1 here, then what you get is a value of uh, this is 100, 100 teeth, and this one is 57.4, I mean 57.1. Um, you can just uh, write 57 if you want. And here's 40. Okay, and if you substitute all the values in this equation, what you get for the center distance is 157. This one is 96.25, and here's uh, 81. And by the way, for the number of teeth, then of course you have to check if it's the um, if it's a standard size. Okay, so you just have to check that. Okay, so in this problem it says that approximately we need a center distance of 80 millimeters and therefore in this uh, selection or in this choices uh, the best candidate is right here uh, uh, the best candidate therefore is therefore is um, module 3 right module 3.0 is module 3.0 right so therefore the for the driver we have a spur gear uh, spur gear that's module 3.0 and the number of teeth we have 14 t 14 teeth okay and for the driven we have a spur gear okay that's also a module 3.0 and the number of teeth is uh, 40 teeth however we need to check uh, I think we need to check first for the interference right? so check interference I guess we'll need to check this first. Okay, so this one's not yet final. Okay, so we have the number of teeth here in the gear two, and here's our uh, minimum number of teeth in the gear one. Okay, so we have a 40 selection, 40 teeth selection, 40, right? And right here should be somewhere, somewhere around 50. So. We see here that the 14 teeth is not uh, it's not possible. Okay, so check interference. So we need to draw the table and we need to project. We have this 40 teeth and therefore the minimum should be at least 15. Okay, the minimum minimum number of teeth should be should be 15 so therefore um, I think we need to make some revisions okay so therefore uh, driver therefore the driver should be spur gear uh, it's a spur gear and the module is 3.0 and we have this 15t and we'll compute for the t sub um, right, so compute for t sub 2 is equal to n1 t1 over n sub 2 and this is 200 divided by 70 times 15 right that's right here 200 times 15 divided by 70 and so we have 42 teeth can have either 42 teeth or 43 teeth so you just have to check the standard size right so therefore the driver is 15 t and the driven is a spur gear module 3.0 and here's 42 teeth Okay, so for the size going back to this power rating tables we have this number of teeth if you can see that not every whole number has uh, has values right here so 
uh, and also right here we only have 40 so probably we'll just specify it um, and just check the actual situation um, or check the uh, actual availability of that uh, that gear okay so that's it again just to have a review of what we did we first um, usually this N1 I mean the, the speed of the driver and the speed of the driver they are they are usually um, known already or they are computed because uh, example if an equipment is a bucket elevator belt conveyor or uh, a mixer a feed mixer or palletizer whatever process equipment uh, they have that required speed already um, and and that's why what we need here is just simply a selection of the uh, of the gear drive combination that would best suit the, the the criteria or the situation okay so we first illustrate the problem and then list down the informations given informations and then we solve for the design power uh, and we we, we solve for the service factor using the, um, the table 12 and 13 in the bias 306 and then we just add up the service factors and we multiply that to the rated um, rated power or required power if we don't have the rated then um, we get here the design power and we use that design power when we enter the, um, the tables okay and we just make uh, three selections I mean at least three or if you want you can add some more then compute or tabulate the module um, the power and the number of teeth and then solve for the uh, teeth of the driven or the teeth of the other gear and then the center distance just to, just to check um, whether this center distance uh, fits the design situation okay so the next is let's do another sample problem uh, this is 12.2 and this sample problem is taken from the textbook by um, by mod machine elements and this is example problem 9-5 and the approach actually in the textbooks they are actually different than the ones we have in our bias So I think I can say that uh, the ones that we have in the past is uh, simplified um, and more direct, I guess. And that's why right here I need to make some more information just to fit in in our um, just to fit in in, in our tables uh, in our uh, in our specifications. Okay, so the. The problem says that uh, design a pair of spur gears to be used as a part of the tribe for a cheaper to prepare pulp wood for use in a paper mill. Intermittent use is expected and electric motor transmits 3 HP to the pinion. Okay, so that's, um, that's the smallest gear. And this is the driver gear because Because it says here an electric motor transmit 3 HP to the pinion, so this is attached to the electric motor. Okay, at 1750 RPM, and the gear must rotate between uh, 460 and 465 RPM. And also, compact design is desired. So, as I've said, just to fit in, in our standards, then I just, uh, I mean, standards or specifications uh, in the standards, um, we, or I'll add this information. Uh, so first, let's assume it's a heavy shock load. Um, then we'll just use grease lubrication. Although uh, this may not, uh, I mean, I don't know if it is grease or or oil bath or splash lubrication. Uh, I guess splash lubrication would be better because uh, of this range. However, um, I think it's. Uh, I mean, just for computation, we'll just use this. Okay, and also use 17 to 24 or assume 17 to 24 hours per day okay so here's our additional information and right here I also want to change this because we don't have this in the table so we'll use 1800 uh, rpm so that we don't need to interpolate okay okay so for the solution 
Okay, so number one is to list down uh, given info information. We have a rated power of 3 HP and N1 is equal to 1750 RPM. Okay, but again, we'll use 1800 so that we don't need to uh, to interpolate. And N sub 2 is equal to 460 to 465 RPM. So it's a range. And it says here we need a compact drive. Right, compact drive meaning uh, the lesser uh, center distance would be uh, would be the compact drive. Okay, and what else we have? This heavy shock load and grease lubrication, and we'll assume seventeen to twenty four hours per day. Okay, so the next step is to solve for right, solve for the design power. Okay, so P sub D is equal to P sub R times the service factor and the service factor is it says here 17 to 24 hours and here's our uh, heavy shock load so we have a value of 1.6 1.6 plus uh, for the type of lubrication we have the grease so this is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 Therefore, this is 2.0. Okay. So, therefore, P sub D is equal to 3 HP times 2. This is just 6 HP. Or if you convert that to watts, this is 4,476 watts. Okay, now that we have the design power, then let's enter. Uh, okay, enter the power rating table okay so we'll make a table so here's our selection one two and three and for the second column here's our module and the power the next column is the power uh, this that's the the power capacity and this one is the uh, gear teeth Okay, so if we check the, um, the power ratings for 1.25, uh, there's no selection. Right here, in power mode, uh, I mean in module 1.5, here's our RPM. And our required power is 4,476. 4,476, so we have here. 1,800 so we have 4,532 and then the number of teeth is 40 okay so that's uh, so this is 1.5 and we have a 4,535 and the number of teeth is 40 okay then the next is let's check the module module 2.0 so here we are, 1,800 RPM, and we have 4,476. So we have this, right? And we have a 16 teeth. Okay, 16, 2.0, this is 4,625. And if we check the 2.5, Here we are again, 1,800. Um, then we can just, I mean, the first one here is 5,308. So here it is, and check, it's a uh, 11 teeth. So 2.5, 5,308, this is 11. Okay, now that we have that, then we can okay, solve for T sub 2 and center distance right so we'll use this equation um, T sub 2 is equal to N sub 1 all over N sub 2 and for the center distance this is T sub 1 plus T sub 2 all over 2 and the, the values right here this is 
this is m this is t sub 1 this is t sub 2 and this is um, center distance This is 1.5, 2.0, and 2.5. For the T sub 1, this is 40, 16, and 11. Right? And 11. So for the T sub 2, so this is N1 is 1800 divided by, let's say, 462.5 because we are in the range. So We'll just use the average. Okay, so 1800 divided by 462.5 times uh, 40. Right? This is 155 or 156 if you want. Right? Okay. Times 16. This is let's say sixty two times eleven. This is forty, uh, forty two or forty three. Okay, so here it is, and we can now solve for the center distance. Uh, center distance is simply the sum of the teeth divided by two times the module. Okay, so forty times 156 I'm oh, sorry 40 plus 156 divided by 2 times 1.5 this is 147 uh, that's 147 mm that's 62 plus 16 divided by 2 times 2 this is 78 mm and 43 plus 11 divided by 2 times 2 so this is 67 point uh, 67.5 uh, so this is 67.5 so we can check if if you'd like uh, I mean we can make more selections if you'd like um, but for now let's just consider this but again we'll we'll also check the interference I check the interference so in this selection we have 43 so the, the minimum number should be like okay, this is 43 so the minimum number should be 40 I mean the minimum number of the teeth should be again 40 okay, so check the interference So we have 50 and here's our 40 so therefore use uh, 15 teeth now if we use 15 teeth then our t sub 2 is equal to uh, 1800 divided by 462.5 times the 15 1800 by 4 62.5 times 15 this is uh, 58 this is right 58 okay therefore therefore the summary is that we have a spur gear and we have a module what is this module 2.5 right module 2.5 and we have 14 this uh, 15 teeth 15 teeth for the drive, uh, driver and we have um, 58 teeth for the uh, for the driven right so that's that's it and of course there will be other possible try combinations if we uh, if we increase some more um, but this is just the computation I mean this is just 
um, showing you the decay computation procedure using the PIS 306. Okay, so I guess that's all. That's all for the computations. Uh, I'd like to add some more topics right here. Uh, I have here a small uh, speed reducer. So it's it's already one assembly. Um, right, it's already one assembly. Uh, you see here, uh, yeah. we have a speed reducer, a, a base mounted uh, speed reducer with a perpendicular shafts. So if this is the input then this is going to be the output so you can see the change in the direction or if this is the input then this will be the output okay so you can have various sizes of this uh, gear motors oh, sorry gear uh, gearbox or uh, gear reducer okay so that's the word right there uh, worm gear reducer and it can already specify like the ratio if we have 1 is to 50 or right, 1 is to 50 so that means one rotation here is I uh, can reduce that by uh, 50 times so this is really uh, really handy and I guess also we need to specify the the horsepower uh, I mean we also have to check the horsepower for this um, because if it's not um, if it's not appropriate, then uh, of course there's going to be damage on the on the shaft. Okay, and here's going to be the lubrication. Um, we need to it says here fill with oil before using it, right? So you have to fill this with oil. So this must be a bath lubrication, right? This must be a bath lubrication here. Okay, so there's a lot more um, more types of this speed reducer um, uh, I mean a shaft mounted speed reducer for example uh, for a screw con uh, screw conveyor if you'd like then there's gonna be uh, if the, here's our electric motor um, right because this one is running let's say 1800 uh, rpm Okay, and let's say this will be running uh, let's say 100 rpm so in order to reduce this 1800 to 100 if you use a belt drive then of course you can uh, probably will use a compound drive system or a, a chain drive that's also a compound drive system so instead of um, having that uh, what if we'll use um, we'll use a speed reducer here or a, a, uh, a gear motor right. so instead of having uh, this gear uh, this electric motor plain electric motor it's uh, it's a gear motor meaning an electric motor with um, with a gear gearbox already or with a uh, with a gear reducer already and then we just have to uh, make some combinations right here okay so that's one uh, application of this of this uh, speed reducers and gear motors okay so I guess another one would be if we have this uh, scraper scraper assembly uh, for discharging the the ash right if here's our uh, container for example so if we want to rotate this but here's our electric motor then how do we rotate this uh, then we can use actually um, a gear a gear reducer uh, a gear reducer or plus gear motor or if this is an electric motor uh, we'll just use uh, let's say this is 1800 right and this is our gear mo uh, speed reducer sorry speed reducer and let's say this is 1 is to 50 or 1 is to 40 then you can uh, have a reduce speed right here okay plus there's already a change in the direction okay so instead of using bevel gears uh, I think this is much more uh, readily available okay, and there are many types uh, this is just one small type that I found in our cabinet right here
okay so i guess that's all for the for the gear drives and in the next video we'll be moving on to the computations of the shaft and uh, after that we'll i mean shaft and also shaft components like the couplings um what else uh couplings keys keyways and after that we'll do um we'll have a discussion on the bearings okay so i'll see you in the next lecture